Hey everybody. So, here I am just on the other side of security in the Reno Tahoe International Airport. Don't have the mic or anything on the camera, but I figured, uh, you know, I'd start documenting the trip right away. I got through security, TSA pre, in about, uh, I think in about five minutes. It wasn't bad at all. And, uh, I had to head up to my gate, so. Alright. Gonna go see if my favorite lounge is open. Well, one of my favorites, the Escape Lounge in Reno. Really cool. So, let me turn this around. In the interest of public health, smoking and the use of e-cigarettes is not permitted in the airport, except in designated curbside areas. Ah, wow, McDonald's is open. So, arrived in San Francisco. That's a good flight. Short, tiny plane. Exhausted already. Um, got in early, gonna get my bags, and then uh, head over to the international terminal and find a spot to kill four or five hours. I'll let you guys know if anything interesting happens. See if we can get some breakfast at the uh, American Express Cent Centurion Lounge. Had a really nice breakfast at the uh, American Express Centurion Lounge. Decided I'd uh, head over there, see what they had, see if they were open. I think I beat the crowd. Um, just really good scrambled eggs and applewood smoked bacon and quite good, crowded. But I did manage to find a table. So hopefully my luggage is still going around on the belt. Um, so I shall collect that and then uh, head over to the International Terminal. Once I find a place to sit down, I'll uh, message uh, Sharon and the kids and see how things are going on the home front. Uh, yeah, so, uh, catch you later. Because I'm traveling with a lot of bags, I've got my main check-in bag, and then I've got two sort of smaller carry-ons, and then my emergency bag, which I bring with me in case, you know, I get the, hey, you're overweight, um, deal, which I did. United dinged me for 45 bucks, um, today. So thank you, United. Um, I put it on your credit card. I don't know if that helps. Uh, and speaking of credit cards, actually, the gate that I got out of, um, it was F3. I don't know the terminal uh, in San Francisco, but it's right by the MX Centurion Lounge. And I thought, you know, the bags can wait. Um, so I go over to the lounge, and um, it was busy, but I found a table. And they had an amazing breakfast spread. So I had really good eggs. I had, um, you know, some applewood smoked sausage and ketchup. Um, it was really good. I mean, I don't know if it was $500 good because that's the yearly fee that we pay for uh, having the Amex card, but, uh, but breakfast by breakfast, I'm going to knock that number down. You know, again, hopefully I'll do more travel this year. Welcome to the air train station. This is SFO. I'm on my way to the International Terminal. 
And I think I can actually take either one of these trains. This is the D train and the blue train. International Terminal G gates. And then the other one over here is the uh, red line. International Terminal International and Terminal 1 gates A and B. I'll probably take the blue line. Um, yeah, anyway, that's what's going on. Always the first, it would seem. Um, the uh, desk opens in about 50 minutes, I think. I'm first in line. I'm always first in line, it seems. Um, but looking forward to getting some sleep on this flight. Give you a view around the area here. Boy, let me just say the mask action here is really annoying. I would love to take this thing off. But it's going to be on for the next 20 hours or so. So I found a place to sit right here on the floor in front of the gate. Um, most of the chairs are occupied by people or baggage. This is really good. Um, so Korean Airlines and Air France share a lounge. I suspect the lounge is run by Air France because the food is always really good. Amazing baked goods, salads, all different wines. Although I don't drink actually when I fly. I don't drink that much ever. Anyway, good food, decent place to sit, fast Wi-Fi. I'm tired, but it's a good morning. I did talk to Sherry and the kids. They made it home, and they're now watching this show on Netflix called Grown Up or something like that. I'll find out and I'll let you know, but it's about little kids running errands and it's hilarious. It's a Japanese TV show and it's absolutely adorable. Um, they'll like send two year olds out to the grocery store to buy things. It's, uh, it's a lot more interesting than it sounds. Uh, Alright, more later. Bye bye. Alright, I uh, made it through security. And then I went to the lounges. Um, the Air France lounge actually had a had a great uh, second breakfast. And now I'm uh, headed uh, down to the gates. So I started the morning at about uh, I got up at 4 a.m. It's uh, 11 now. Didn't sleep. Really tired, but uh, I did manage, however, to get a. Uh, to get a window seat on Korean Air, um, and these are nice cabins. I'll have, I'll have some uh, pictures in a video later, and uh, yeah, uh, I'll get some sleep. So the journey continues. Okay, well, uh, I'm here, and I have to say, I am super, super unhappy. This is the first time I've ever seen a flight, um, an airplane in this configuration, um, flown between San Francisco and Incheon. Usually they've got the, they're sort of semi-enclosed cabins, and you can really sleep. You're not like elbow to elbow with a neighbor sort of staggered 
Whereas this is, uh, you can kind of see it for yourself. <laughs> Got some great news. So um, the cabin steward came by and told me that the seat next to me is reserved for Sherry Ann. That means it's empty. So I may not have the little cabin that I like, and apparently they don't run that airplane anymore. Maybe this airplane is less expensive to fly. Smaller capacity because of the reduced COVID numbers. Um, kind of a bummer because you know I do pay a premium for that that space, but at least the seat next to me is empty, which is cool. Um, I'll be able to spread out a little bit. So things are getting better. Kind of going like that. <laughs> um, yeah. I miss Sherry Ann and the kids. I wish they were coming with me.